This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. So on the Sal Canelo Alvarez and Rocky Fielding undercard in New York, Katie Taylor took on Eva Wallström. And Eva Wallström, she's from Finland and she came into this one with 23 fights and zero defeats, 22 wins with one draw. And she came to fight Wallström, she really did. And of course, Katie Taylor, she was defending her IBF and WBA World Female Lightweight Championships. And Eva Wallström was, of course, at a lower weight class of super featherweight. She was a WBC champion. So she's moved up to take on Katie Taylor. And boy, did she get punished every single round. It was a 10 rounder, two minute rounds. And Katie Taylor, from the very, very first bell, just unleashed hell all over Eva Wallström. And I have to give Eva Wallström a hell of a lot of credit. You can see why she's undefeated because she's actually a very, very good fighter and very durable as well. Not the biggest puncher in the world. I mean, out of her 22 wins, she had stopped only three of her opponents. So you could probably say maybe a bit feather-fisted at times. But either way, Eva Wallström um, looked okay in patches but Katie Taylor came to fight and Katie Taylor wanted a knockout. Um, didn't quite come, but it probably could have come more so in round number nine when Katie Taylor was just started unloading, but the referee just kept breaking up all the time. But the telling factor in these ones are Katie Taylor, her movement. I mean, I've covered every single one of her fights so far and it's her body shots. Each and every fight, it's her body shots. But she can pick up punches upstairs as well. And listen, she's not the cleanest fighter in the world. Uh, she's a lovely person outside the ring. But inside the ring, she will use the occasional forearm. She will use a headbutt. And the referee declared it an accidental headbutt when Wallström in round number eight, or was it number nine, got a very, very nasty gash right in the middle of her forehead. And... I don't know whether it's deliberate from Katie Taylor, but she fights like a man. Is that disrespectful to say? I don't think so, because when I watch her fight, I kind of forget that she's a woman. It's odd to say, I know, but she's very, very good. She's bouncy on her toes all the time and goes in for some big, big punches. And whenever she gets hit back, it doesn't really seem to bother her. It's like she kind of likes getting into like a bit of a war. So, of course, at times, previous opponents as well, but with Wallström, she did come to fight, even though she lost every single round, she did come to fight. And Katie Taylor was more than happy to oblige. She was happy to box, she was happy to brawl, and just beat her up. And that's exactly what she'd done. I kind of felt bad for Valstrom in some kind of parts in this one, but very, very clear victory for Katie Taylor. I know everybody over there in Ireland is very, very proud of her. She's now 12 and 0, which is fantastic. Um, five knockouts but it's it's surprising though how she's only got five knockouts out of her now 12 victories um obviously as an amateur she achieved everything and that she felt like she was going a little bit stale and then moved into the pro ranks um you could probably argue probably a bit late in her boxing career i suppose but she's making one hell of a statement and she's got some quality names on her resume now eva valstrom even though she did move up um, a weight class to take on katie taylor 22 and 0 with only one draw and katie taylor just beat her up like like nothing else on earth now what's going to happen next who knows maybe amanda serrano i know that fight is being talked about or potentially even at some point 2019 right um as uh, she already defeated cindy serrano her sister uh, now she's just defended her two titles against valstrom listen man she is fantastic i'm not big on big on women boxing but when Katie Taylor is on you can't help but watch her she's ferocious and the barrages of punches to the body are brutal I mean I'm a man and I can take some pretty decent shots but the way that she unloads on the body on on the inside on the outside she she just goes cracking and quite how Valstrom just didn't drop to the floor I have no idea I mean Valstrom had nothing to be ashamed of as I said she came to fight just like Katie Taylor is just that bit better and so far she's just that bit better than everybody else is there a woman out there who could potentially give Katie Taylor some problems I don't know can it be Amanda Serrano maybe maybe but we'll have to wait and see either way congratulations to Katie Taylor she's now 12 and 0 in a very very short career so far unified 
world champions. We retained them again today very, very comfortably. Um, but yeah, good stuff. Can't wait for our next one. You drop your thoughts about this fight, click the thumbs up, and of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.